everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Katarina and I hope that you are having a great day so far. Today's video is going to be my review and a demo tutorial on the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. So that was the demo portion of this video. Let's go ahead and break down the foundation, give you the facts, pros and cons, and then final thoughts. So this is what the packaging looks like right here. It is a squeezy tube, which I really enjoy because pumps and squeezy tubes are very sanitary. Also allows you to control exactly how much you'd like to put This foundation retails for $38. You can find it at Sephora. You can find it at Ulta, um, TarteCosmetics.com, their website, etc. And in terms of the claim of this foundation, it doesn't really have that many claims. It claims to be a full coverage foundation, hence the name, Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. It claims to have 12 hour wear, so it's claiming to be very long lasting, and it's also oil free. In terms of the product size, you get 1.7 fluid ounces in here, whereas on average with a typical foundation, you get one fluid ounce. So in this foundation, you're getting 0.7 more ounces, which is always a bonus. And in terms of the shade selection, this foundation has 25 different shades. You guys know me whenever I'm reviewing a foundation, I really look for that 20 shade mark and up. So this having 25 shades, I'm really happy about that. Also going along with that, their shade selection doesn't just end there. If you go on their website, they really break it down for you in terms of your undertone. So me, I have the shade Medium Sand and for reference, I'm like an NC35-ish in MAC. So I got the shade Medium Sand and on the website, if you look at Medium Sand, the description is Medium Skin with a Yellow Undertone. And they have that kind of description for all the foundations. So if, if you have a pink or cool undertone or neutral undertone or yellow undertone, you can really see which one's going to cater to you best. So you guys know me and my skin type, I do have very oily, well right now it's more oily combination, but I also have very sensitive skin. Happy to say this foundation did not make me break out whatsoever, that's always a bonus. And like you guys saw in the demo portion, I applied it with two different ways. On this side of my face, I did the Beauty Blender, and then on the right side of my face, I did a Flat Top Kabuki. If you're wondering, I do actually prefer using the Beauty Blender. I wanted to just show you guys two different utensils to apply this foundation. I do prefer this Beauty Blender, though, because it does contain that moisture, so it's going to really even out the skin tone and add a little bit of hydration to the skin as well. So let's just get right into the pros and the cons here. Let's talk about the coverage. I consider the coverage to be a pro in my book because it is a medium to full coverage. I don't think it's the fullest coverage where it's going to look like a mask on your skin. With one layer of foundation, I find this to be medium coverage, but you can build it up to be medium to full coverage. The blendability of this foundation I also consider a pro. It's very blendable, very easy to work with. The texture reminds me a lot of the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation, but this has more moisture in there, so it makes it easier to blend. It doesn't feel like a mask on your face again or feel like you're dragging and pulling on your skin. I also think that the size is a pro and the packaging. We'll just put those two together. The size, again, because you're getting more product in this foundation than you are with a typical foundation. That's always a bonus. And then also going to recap back on the shade selection. That is a pro. Um, again, I always like to see foundations have 20 or more shades and this one has 25, so I love that. Another pro is that it does have SPF in there, but it's not too much. This has SPF 15, so you are going to be protecting your skin, protecting your face, but you're not going to have so much SPF in here that it's going to transfer to have a white cast in photos, which I love. One being that although this is a very long wearing foundation, I see myself getting about 8 hours of wear, 8 maybe 10 if I'm touching up, but after that, you will notice it to feel very greasy on your face. So if you do swipe it, it's going to transfer and even though it claims to be oil free, it does really give you know that, that greasy feel, which I'm not a fan of. 
but you are getting such a long wear before that even happens that I'm kind of okay with it. The text or the thickness of it. So this foundation is very thick. So you are, I don't know why I'm just holding this up the whole entire time. So it is a very thick foundation though. So you're going to notice it on your skin. In person, in photos, it looks amazing. You can't really tell that you have foundation on. It blends beautifully, but you're going to know yourself that you have foundation on. So some people don't really like that. It does bother them, but um, just just an FYI. But to wrap this up, you guys, I love this foundation. I'm so happy that I have it. I really like to use it for special events and special occasions or nights out. Um, I don't find this being like my everyday foundation, not my like go-to, go to the grocery store foundation or anything like that. But I really like and it. And I think and that you guys would enjoy it too if you do have especially oily skin um, and problematic skin. If you have some acne scars too, it is going to help kind of blur those out and blur out those pores. Some last minute things that I maybe didn't put in there before is this did not oxidize on me. The color that you get is the color that stays on your face, so that's always a bonus. And also in regards to my pores, I have larger pores right around here. Does not accentuate them whatsoever. It kind of just fills them in, which I'm also really impressed with. Alright you guys, so that wraps up this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you did and if you'd like to see more tutorials and reviews on foundation. Also I'm going to go ahead and link all of my other previous foundation tutorials, reviews, anything regarding foundation down below in case you're curious about another foundation that I've tried, tested, and what my thoughts are. So I will link those down below in the description box. Also you guys make sure to subscribe to my channel that way you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos and thank you so much for watching you guys. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!